about the COVID situation right now today in Fall River? Um, I've, I've said from the time this started that we've done a tremendous job on it. All these other communities that are like, like us and like populations have more cases than we have. And we are very, very diligent in our tracking, our tracing, and how we follow up with people. Um, today we have a little bit of work ahead of us because we did move into a different category, but I'm sure by this afternoon we'll have some clarity on how that happened. Um, well, we did vote the other night unanimously for a hybrid model. Um, I, as a lifelong educator, I know how important it is to have that personal contact with your students so that they can uh, bond and respect with you. But at the same time, safety is the overarching concern of everybody. Um, I sure do hope there's a way to pull it off. But again, it will be what's best for the families, the students, the staff, and for Fall River. And we're going to do that. Whatever it is, it is. But uh, I do like personal contact for students. What's your message directly to Fall River residents about, you know, what you're seeing out on the streets in the city with people with COVID, you know, do you see enough masks, do you see yeah. enough social distancing? I, I think the, the people in Fall River have been spectacular about this right from the get-go. We have little glitches here and there, as every community does, but by and large, people have been very, very positive. They, they take uh, direction, they do what we have to do. Um, and they, they've, really, they've really stepped up. Uh, Fall River's always been a little bit lower in the numbers than some of our light communities, and uh, we're still there. We have work to do until we get through this, and we're on our way.